Beware of the snake. This is where I left you yesterday on the broadcast, talking about our story between uh, Amnon and Tamar and Jonadab. Jonadab was the snake, and he's the one that had suggested things to Amnon, things to do that would lead to the problems that were ahead. So Amnon had invited Tamar over to his house. King David said, that's fine, go do that. And then he said to her, come into my private chambers. We well, see, this is that moment of decision. I say this to young people all the time. I said, there will come those moments of decision. And if you make the wrong decision, then the snake is going to lead you down that narrow path that Jesus talks about when he talked about Actually, not the narrow path, but the broad path, because Jesus said that narrow is the way to righteousness, broad is the way to destruction. And uh, Tamar makes the wrong choice. Now, she might have been innocent in her decision, as many times people are. A young lady, she's maybe innocent, She doesn't know what's about to happen because she's young, she's impressionable, and next thing you know, she agrees to go along until the situation gets out of hand and out of control. So he invites Tamar to come into his private chambers, and he says to all the servants, everybody, out of the house. And now he's alone with her in his chamber. And uh, he violates her. Well, Scripture says that as soon as this happened, all of this love talk from uh, Amnon was gone. And Scripture says that he immediately hated her as much as he ever loved her. And he demanded that she go out of his house And he locked the door behind her, and she was begging. She says, don't do this. She said, what you are going to do in rejecting me now is worse and has more shame than what you've already done. And she said, talk to the king. He'll allow us to be together. But you see, this is what happens. See, we see this story in our modern-day time all the time. He pursues, he pursues, he pursues, he wants her, and then he takes advantage of her, and then she comes to him and says, I'm pregnant. And all of a sudden, all of that love stuff is gone. You see, I've said this, and and you can think of me whatever you want. People talk about, well, I'm pro-choice, and I have a right over my own body. Yes, you do. You have a choice. The time to make that choice is the time that a You say, no, no, no. Because once a human, another human is involved in this, that's a totally different story. You see, decisions were made, and the consequences of these decisions led to death. And that's another story for another time. This is Pastor Jack King the gospel on the radio broadcast.